My name's Dale, and this is Metal Tips and Tricks, and welcome to my shop. I had a lot of questions come to me about the Parks Planer Cutter Head, especially two questions kept arising. The first one was, after all of that work, was the cutter head balanced? Well, the truth is no, and yes. There are tolerances that you deal with. A cutter head like that spins at around 3,500, 3, 4,000 RPMs, so it is cutting the wood 12,000 times a minute. Every time that cutter is digging into the wood, it's technically out of balance at that time. So there are tolerances you have to have. But of course, being machinists, we want perfection, don't we? And that's what we're gonna talk about is the second question is, how would you balance that cutter head to be better? So I've kind of mocked up a planer head here. And what we've got here works really good when you have a large mass in the center of the shaft. Or you could have a pulley, something that has some size. Because just a shaft like this, a three quarter inch shaft, really is not what I want to say. It doesn't have enough mass to really throw itself out of balance at 4,000, 5,000 RPMs. Now, if we were talking 50,000, well, we'd have a conversation. But the way this is set up, this is good enough. The other thing is, this mass set up on this rig has to be able to overcome a lot of friction from this rolling on these two rulers. Let me talk about this rig for a little bit. What we've got here and I'll go into it in a little more detail in a few minutes. So I basically have two machinist rules set up so they're perfectly level this way and this way, and there's no twist in it. And that's what we're going to roll this on, and we're going to find out where this piece of steel is at its heaviest, and then we're going to balance it and talk about how we do that. So as you can see right now, it is trying to find a balance point, and basically, where it's the heaviest will be, of course, on the bottom because gravity is pulling on that. And what I want to do now is mark it down the center. Now, we know this is the lightest side, and this side is, of course, its heaviest. And this is where we'll be drilling a series of holes to balance this. Now, how do you determine how deep and how big and how many of those holes need to be drilled? Well. That's where these rare earth magnets come into play. Now these are a half inch in diameter and about an eighth of an inch thick. And what we'll do is just start placing them on here until this starts to rotate. And now I'm giving you kind of the abridged version of this. Uh, for me to really tweak this out, it would probably take me a good 15, 20 minutes before I would start drilling holes. It just matters how it all works out. Let's put another one on here. Now you can see also that by stacking these up, it actually acts as more leverage on this, and it's not really a good true measurement. Another thing is I can't tell you is, do I want to put more magnets on this side or that side? I have no way, to be honest, at least I haven't figured out a way to balance it this way or to figure out if there's more mass on one side or the other. You just have to kind of guess, really. And you'd look at them, I mean, if there's a bunch of holes on one side where there were screws or something or the bolts were off balance, um, you would kind of go, well, maybe I need to drill out more here or there. So our goal is to make sure that when this rolls on this, on this track, that it never consistently stops at the same position. So if I was getting close, I would mark, double check, and go through it. On the whole drilling process, I would look at this. I've got six holes I want to drill. I've got an extra set of magnets. I'd probably pull one of these off. And I would drill a series of holes on the, on the opposite side, five holes. 
test it, see how it looks. Then I would go through, add one magnet, whatever I need to do to just kind of keep tweaking it. So it's pretty simple, but it will take some time and it's well worth taking the time and doing it right. Let's talk about the base and what I set this up on. Very simple. Like I said, I have just two machinist rulers. I have a machinist level. I level it out this way and I level it out this way. And the way I end up setting that up so I could level it easily was I took a piece of millimine. Now millimine is a great material actually. It's millimine with a sandwich in it that is particle board and it's super stable because the millimine will expand and contract at the same rate and particle board itself is very stable so it doesn't move. So this board here is very, very flat and serves this project really well. What I did on the back side is I just drilled three holes, put in three bolts, and this is the way I level it. I set my ruler, or I set my level on this end, level it this way, turn it with a third pin, raise and lower it until it's level this way, check it back and forth, then I set up my rigging here, which is basically four parallel blocks. Um, Magnets are great, they're everywhere. And something to hold the rulers up. Very simple, the whole thing took me about 15 minutes to assemble. Another way you can do it is I just kind of set these up as a crude representation. You can build better ones, definitely. Keith Fenner has a set that he's selling that are really, really nice. And we set it up on these ball bearings. The challenge with ball bearings is there's a lot of friction in there. So you may want to clean out the ball bearings really good and put a super fine oil in them because we need this thing to overcome a lot of friction because of the bearings. And again, that's why this doesn't work well on a shaft, but works well on something with a lot of mass or a pulley that has a lot of diameter. I hope that answered you guys' questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please take the time to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It's just a quick little click there in the corner. I think this corner. I think it's a quick little click in this corner. And also leave me your comments. I love to read those positive comments. So until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Just like I did with the other bit, is I did a depth of a thousand, uh, 70, thousand, I did a depth of that, 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 that. I did a depth that was a lot. I did a depth that was um, somewhat deeper than it was.